Buried behind there are a bunch of comics and cards and who knows what in those bins. It's, yeah, it's fun. All right, what's up, Locker Nuts? Oh, we're back at this unit. This has been a fun unit. This is gonna be one of those units that I probably will always remember because it's, it's what we hunt for. The unit that had like so little promise from the doorway and yet has delivered big time for us. It's been so good. Ah, man, that's what it looks like after three days of working. Obviously, we took a lot of the top half out. It was stacked way up. I'll show a picture on the screen right here of what it looked like when we bought it. It's hard to believe it looked so different. Um, but still kind of a lot of stuff in here. It's not packed very tight though, so in empty garbage cans, obviously this is my stuff that I brought. This is day four. I've got my van and this morning emptied this thing in the rain before church. Put all this stuff either in my storage unit or my trailer uh, so I could have this to knock this out. So it's supposed to be raining right now. It's not obviously, so uh, that's good. Lucky for us. What's not lucky for me is that I woke up this morning just feeling terrible. I realized this morning, like, this is like the first day, probably since having COVID, which was like 13, 14 months ago, um, first time that I've actually felt so bad that I woke up and wish I just didn't have to get out of bed. But I, I have so much to do today. Sunday, it's a work day for me. I would not only work this to keep up with it, today is like two days past the clean out date, so I gotta get it out. I don't wanna damage my relationship with the facility here. But um, I also work at church, I do the AV, so, um, can't miss it but today I had to drag myself out this morning it was a rough morning I've had a sore throat I had congestion I didn't sleep well and my energy is just zapped so I'm not sure how much filming I'm gonna do today because really I'm like super low energy I need some rest but I <laughs> can't rest till the work's done uh, you know I just can't I gotta get this done so this is part of the business and uh, but you know what I am still excited to be here because Buried behind there are a bunch of comics and cards and who knows what in those bins. It's, yeah, it's fun. All right, let me put all the junk in the trailer. I mean, <laughs> I'm off my game. Let me put all the junk in the um, van here and so we can get to some new stuff and uh, do a little digging. If the rain doesn't come in, we're gonna, we're gonna have some time. Let's get started. All right, that looks a little different, right? I gotta be honest though, I did have hesitation, reservations about bringing this van because we did find roaches, live ones, in the comic book box that was right here. So I'm worried those might have some too, or just, you know, anywhere in here, there might be more. And there probably are. I don't wanna put it in my van, but with the rain coming, I couldn't bring my truck, and the trailer is a difficult to use in the rain also. Um, this box right here, so we started building this box with keeper stuff. I pulled this out last time and said, oh, we need to take a closer look at that, and we didn't. So look at this, Ro Norman Rockwell Four Seasons Plates. Yeah, I think that's what it looks like. There's one out of the box. That's cool, little tiny things. And then look at these, these are little Yadro. Oh no, I'm sorry, Lennox. Did I say Yadro yesterday? No, maybe I said Lennox, I don't know. But, cause we found some in another box. Oh, this box, this box right here has some of those and a bunch of die casts. So here's a whole bunch more die casts. Ooh, that looks old. That's an old one. 1979, I think. Super bad condition, but still. That's the old ones that we like. We like the most, anyways. There's a red line, guys. We found a red line. That's missing the little engine that goes right there. So again, rough shape, 1969. Wow. It's older. Toots Toys. Tootsie, Tootsie Toys. That's cool. Tootsie Toys, also collectible. That's a Ertl right there. Good. There's another red line. Yes, we hadn't found any red lines yet. I didn't, ah, that thing is annoying. I haven't looked super hard in there. We just kind of skimmed around, but that's another 1969 right there. The red lines are the, what we're really hoping to find. All right, we'll put that back in there. That's a good box right there. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Very large. It's called a cheer be bear. Oh, no, it's a care bear. What? It says cheer bear, but it is a care bear. That's a large Care Bear, and it's still brand new in the sealed plastic, so, ugh, look at that. <laughs> I'm only laughing because this locker is like, yeah. Yeah, it's the dirty one. 
Some of our best lockers tend to be very dirty lockers. I've said many times before that I'm, that I'm not deterred by rat turds. This one hasn't had rat turds actually. Uh, roaches, okay, so we got different, but also everything's just sticky, dusty, has a film on it, and uh, dirty for other reasons. Hmm, look at this. Uh, I thought it was an iPhone. Wait, that says iPhone, but that's super light. Mm -mm. This is something else. Is that a dummy phone? Or is that like a... I can't imagine that being like a bank or something, like to hide your money in there, because a phone might be something that they'd steal, right? Here's a toy. Ooh, bad shape though. Lots of broken parts. Broken wing. Hmm. Head's missing. All right, we'll get to that in a second, I guess. I was just trying to get away from the compressor. So right here, electric putting green. And this looks like that's what it is. Metatronic. Ah, that's a toy right here. Super light. That's not real binoculars. Drill master. Okay, I got a corded drill there. We'll bring that to the flea market. Oh! This is cool. Okay, wait, this is a cast iron piece. Birdie putt. I think something else goes right here. Birdie putt, I think it's actually, I think it's a bank. There's the stopper right there. Maybe the coin falls down. How does it, what? Oh, how neat. Oh, you push the button. Boink, boink, boink. I think he shoots the coin in. I don't know, that's a cool piece though. It looks, looks old, it could be reproduction. This also. It looks old, but it's a reproduction. Made in China. It's tin, and I think plastic on the bottom. Igadala. There's a Golden State Warriors player. Nice. Elvis Costello. Accidents will happen. Let's hope not. No accidents today, Locker Nuts. Let's not break anything. Mug root beer. This old mug root beer right there. Let that go. It's decorative sand right there. I'm not sure what that's for, but it's brand new. Okay, there's a little brand new toy. Playmakers, Ryan Howard. I'll put him aside. Old game right there. <laughs> little kangaroos here. Cheryl Lynn. Ah, more brake pads. That's like the third set of brake pads. Clay Thompson, another Warriors. Metatronics. Yeah. There's a little Superman toy. And that's it. All right. Oh, I see a, a, a bow. See, there's a bow right back there. I hope it's a good one. A drumstick. Otterbox Defender. iPhone 6. A little bit older. There's the fake phone that we saw. Any change? Nope. This is a Nissan Sentra Chilton's uh, mechanics guide right there. I'll bring that to the market. That might have a little value. All right, here's some old Sports Illustrated. It's 1977, 1977, 1978. Those might have a little bit of value. I mean, they, they usually do. Hmm. And then look at this Nissan Altima repair manual and Ford Lincoln repair manual. Those are good. I should put those aside. K-Cup cleaning and descaling kit. Oh, I could actually use that. I use my Keurig multiple times every day. There's a part of a cell phone. There's a Yosemite Sam Pez. <laughs> hey, that's cool. That sits up on your dash probably. It's a little sticker right there. A little hula girl. A little Happy Meal toys. A little Hot Wheels it looks like. 1977 Cub Scouters Pow Wow Boy Scouts Vintage Cup. Ah, here's some reels. Look at this. Canada Geyser Barrett Garbage Dump. Views of hotels. Sounds like that's some something that they taped. A couple of young cowboys. Rose Parade. Yeah, that's neat. Monopoly. Oh, that's made in Japan. Monopoly coffee mug. Very cool. Genuine tournament yo-yo, Duncan Tops is an old yo-yo. We found a bunch of yo-yos already. Air compressor. It's Iron Man or something. It's a little leather pouch right there. Okay, more vintage sports illustrated here. Don't really know if there's value here. 70s, sports illustrated. 
put them aside. Ah, they're all falling apart too. 78, not all, but that one's falling apart. 76. Oops. <laughs> Throwing out those ones with no cover. There's a Hot Wheels. Mattel Dream Mobile. 2020. It's not that old. The condition is rough on it. Paper Art Project Packet. <laughs> yep, that's what happens when you store your stuff so terribly. The stuff gets damaged and sometimes ruined. It's an X-Men book with no cover. It's an old book right there. Bald buffer? What? Now you can have the shiniest sack in the land? What? Removes potent smelly nut butter and ball cheese? What the heck? Is this for real? This has got to be a joke, right? Check out our other unbelievable... Okay, I gotta put that aside. That's gotta... Yeah. Someone's gotta get a laugh out of that. Besides me. Besides you. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Porky Pig Bank. It's cool. No year on there. It's made in China. Put that aside. That's neat. Ooh. Gosh. Texas Instruments. Ooh. I wonder if that's working. Oh, that works. TI-30 Solo. Kenneth Cole reaction, a little camera bag. Yeah, that's nice. Whirly Bird game. Huh. Yeah, we have quite a few records here, but they're in rough shape, guys. Really rough shape. I'm not gonna keep those. Zaf creation dolly. Her face is like, oh, she looks like Elephant Man there. A couple dolls. And that's it. Oh, no, nope, that's not it. This one too. Greenwood Corvette, 1976. That's good. 2017. A little bit newer. Oh, I felt a couple drops on my head just now. Ooh, look at this, guys. Faces of Death, banned in 46 countries. Experience the graphic reality of death close up. I, I've seen this before when I was young. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is not, you're not supposed to sell this. I might be wrong, but this has got, I think this has got some value because it is banned. This is actually like footage, this is from the 80s. It's footage of uh, people dying, getting killed, all kinds of gruesome stuff. Just like it says, that is not fake news right there. That's not clickbait. That's not some YouTuber's thumbnail. That's real. It is really gruesome and it really was banned. Stick around guys. We're going to talk more about this later on in this episode. Oh. Look at this, the child with control knob. A little Funko Pop, that's good. The wind's picking up all of a sudden too, like out of nowhere. Okay, I need another box. That one looks to be the cleanest. It's got some stuff that spilled in there, but it's hardened. There's an old spill, I think. All right, there's a good drill. Ryobi, I think we found the battery for that earlier. Huh, a little picture, this is only a dollar. <laughs> That's a real painting right there. S-A-I-D, said, Said. I'll put that aside. I'll put that aside. Get it? Nyak, nyak, nyak. Oh, that's a rubber knife, but <laughs> obviously it's past its prime. That's too bad. Larry Jacobs collection for uh, collectibles. Hmm. Put that aside. Look at that Furby. Skyrocket, it says. George Bush the third. What is this? A voodoo doll. Oh, funny. Boy, it's still rough condition in there, but it's, it's a novelty. Xbox 360, Tomb Raider. All right, that's there. We found some Tomb Raider statues. This Peanuts toy. Oh, there's a bag of Legos, nice. Hot Wheels, Blade Raider, oh my, it's getting chilly. Who's that guy? Hmm, I'm not gonna show his name or anything, but there's our guy. That's our guy right there, huh. I'm gonna have to look him up. In the last episode, I mentioned that the manager, she was calling and trying to find the guy. A lady answered one of the lines that they had for him, and she said, yeah, you won't, you will not be able to reach him. He's been arrested for So, yeah, that's cool. Uh, yeah, that's, now we don't know if that's true, it could be totally false, it could just be, you know, like an upset girlfriend or something making stuff up to disparage him, 
I don't know, but it's, that's a little wild then. Ah, that's too bad. That thing's all coming apart there. That's that's old right here. SpongeBob. Okay, next. I was hoping these bins would be really good. And there's a little bit of decent stuff in here, but they're not really good. Not yet. I hope they're. I was hoping they're gonna get a lot better. The Thin Man. Huh. Oh, found a chest. Pirate's chest. It is empty. That's metal though. It's kind of neat. I'll put it aside. There's the Ant-Man. We have a drill. Ah, there's an old fishing tackle there. Lure. Fish, a fish lure. Huh. Maybe I'll put that aside. Ooh, this one right here is metal. That's a die cast. Supergirl. It's from 2008. It's just that condition sucks. Oh. That's heavy. That's a magazine for, I think, a uh, airsoft gun right here. Yeah, condition sucks on all these. It's too bad. Incredibles Game Boy Advance game. <laughs> it's, what's incredible is that, like, there's a little bit of good stuff and then there's just garbage. Or I should say, what it's incredible is how I kept this stuff in such poor a condition. If you guys didn't watch the earlier videos on this locker, I bought it for less than 400 bucks. It was like 360 plus 10 percent. Everyday Zombies, that's a sealed pack of cards, that's cool. Yeah, four, less than 400 into this thing. We've done really well considering. That's neat. This uh, Ryobi right here. I forget what that's called, but it's for sanding in corners. I think I have one, not a Ryobi one, but we have. I have one. Huh. Those are negatives. California Desert Life. That is different. Visual Education Division of Los Angeles City Schools. Some kind of projector slides or something. Lantern slides. Okay, we'll put that aside. I've never seen that before. Ooh, that's good right here. Milwaukee step drill bit. That's pretty dang cool. I think I have one of those. What's this? Seven bucks at Wal uh, Goodwill. What is that? Is this a little tiny musical instrument? Huh, what is the purpose of that? I don't know. I don't know. We like selling miniatures though. Black and Decker, are those like electric scissors or something? <laughs> Gillette razors, brand new. That's not cheap these days, thanks to inflation. Thanks to our politicians. Um, there's some some sleeves for cards. Monster protectors, it says. That, I think is from Space 1999, am I right on that? Rough shape, but uh, those I think are a little bit collectible. It's a battery backup. Some kind of a beaker right there. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna throw that away. If I put it in there, it's gonna get broken. I don't want that. Yeah, that's an old uh, Disney McDonald's cup. Okay. More vintage toys. It's Tonka. Tonka Corp. Uh oh, and I'm feeling raindrops. Dang it. Oh, uh, there's another hula girl. All right. Sits on your dash or whatever. Limitless mind formula. Uh, formula. Incredible. <laughs> That's <laughs> it's not that incredible. Newer. What is that? That kind of looks like it's a. I think it's a flash for a camera. Put that aside. Ooh, this is good. Five bucks at Goodwill. We got to see if that's a chip right there. It looks like that's a chip, like they dropped it. Yeah, I think that's what that is. But you know what? I'll take it home and clean it up. I don't. I think that's a chip. If it's a chip, we won't sell it. But otherwise, we sell those in our live auctions. TV casino system right here. Put a little bit more character figurines there. Okay, this one looks kind of interesting and I see magic cards. I see a couple of them. This one's heavy. I'm trying to beat the rain here, guys. There's hand solo. Nice. Plastic sleeves, recipe savers. Okay. 
We're not saving those recipe savers. Yep, yep, yep. Hello, dad jokes. Bo Jackson, Master Blaster. What's that? TK, that's a little pottery right there. I'm not sure what it's for though. Hmm, it was 25 cents, but that's that doesn't mean nothing. Skull necklace. Uh, that's a little die cast here, Mattel. 1979. Whoa. I did not think that was that old. Four bucks. It's broken. Oh, there's a tongue. <laughs> there's a knife here, but I'm not sure how to fold it. Ugh, it's, just, it's so cheap. It's not worth saving. Ooh, look at this. A little pipe. Winston imported briars. Imported briars. A little Winston pipe. Looks like this part snapped off. That's replaceable though. Modern Warfare. P oh, PS4? Huh, it doesn't look scratched. This looks a little dirty. I think we're going to clean that up. That's worth PS4. That's cool. Uh, Jack in the Box. Finger Twister. Cool. And Beavis and Butthead cards. Huh. Little piggy bank here. Made in China. He paid four bucks for it. Wallace and Gromit, guys. <laughs> the sheep. That's cool. Huh. I don't know about this stuff. If that's worth enough to resell or not. We'll put it in there. We'll make up our mind later. Like, I put stuff in this box. I decide what I'm going to do later with it. It's part of a watch there. Okay, there's a magic card. It's just a mountain. It's nothing. Get the batter back up. Ooh, that's nice right here stone or, or something let's see if we can find the lid oh, i think this is the lid <sighs> glue this no that's that, that's kind of cool but that is a there's another nope i thought it was a glass it's a resin it's too light for glass man guys these little boxes like this take a long time there's so much to see and sort oh that's neat got some pins here united states air force that's a cool piece. Okay, let's find more stuff like that. Human Berserker, 2013. A little bit older, a little bit. Whoa, look at this. <laughs> 50 caliber. Yikes. I put that in the flea market box. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's a little ashtray, I think. There's poison ivy right here. That's a metal one. We found the boxes earlier for the metal ones. The face to a radio. <laughs> There's Steph Curry right there. Oh man, guys, this is taking me forever. There's a uh, pencil sharpener right here. One of those little metal ones. A little more Jack in the Box, guys. All right, guys, this is, I mean, this is cool stuff. There's Venom. Uh, what is this? Rust Berry and Company. I think I found these before. I don't think they're that expensive. I'll put it aside, but it's vintage. There's a little Robin. Um, oh, so much to go through. Ooh, Kabuki face on that. Bottle opener. Sneak. Oh, here's another glass one. $2.99 they paid. That one looks way better. That's cool. It's got the little fish. All right, guys, I'm starting to feel a, a, like kind of a consistent sprinkle on me. Plus, I'm, I, honestly, I feel like I'm getting a little low. I had a little little raise in energy probably as I was drove out here and uh, just sitting in the car resting for a bit. But now I'm feeling it's uh, getting low again. <laughs> I'm not feeling good. So I'm going to just get to loading the van and um, it will take a look at We'll pop these open in a second, these comic book boxes. But uh, let's get this wrapped up before maybe it starts raining heavier. And uh, I'll take it in just a second. This is funny. It's a feather duster, but it's Donald Trump with the hair. <laughs> That's hilarious. Really, really funny. Milwaukee Sawzall. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's a bow. I don't find very many bows ever. Bring 
Aaron, where's there? Ah, it's empty. He said nine millimeter got me going in the last episode. I was looking forward to that. Oh. All right, guys. Cards galore. Oh, look at this. Some of these sleeved ones, nice thick sleeves. There's Evan White's got a signature on it. Oh, there's a Marvel card. I mean, these could be some decent cards. I don't, there's another signature. Alex Bregman, Matt Chapman, another signature card. Good. Okay, oh, oh, look at this. There's another graded card. Sharon Martis, Gem Mint, BCCG, 10, Gem Mint, 1987, Barry Bonds. Oh, hot dang. WCG, I don't know that grading company, but. And there's a 10 Gem Mint Eddie George, 1996. That one's cracked, unfortunately, but that's good. If I just bought the ones that are in the thicker cards, there's Ken Griffey Jr. 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 and Ken Griffey Jr. I don't think those are his rookie cards, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. All right, a bunch of loose stuff here. Oh, got basketball though. Got a lot of basketball. Here's a couple more signature ones. Darius Clark, or just one signature. Okay. I see some older stuff here. This is 75 centers. A little bit older. We'll go through that later. All right, what's this? Oh yes. There's some sleeved up uh, basketball. There's Dwayne Wade right there. Cool. And this one. Okay, mostly loose stuff. Ooh, ooh this is fun. Okay, this one. A little Mermaid. I just want to get kind of a. Oh. I was just gonna say, I wanna get a quick look, see if we got anything good. This, look at this guys, 12 cent, Detective Comics Batman, 12 cents. It's number 311, surprisingly. They had 311 issues before it's 12 cents. There's another 12 cents. Oh, hot dang, hot dang. Turtles, Adventures, some later printed stuff. Clayface, oh. There's some X-Men, Slater stuff. Venom, Alpha, that's sweet. Okay, it started out with a couple of very old ones. There's Mad from the 70s though. 19, oh, 1965, what the heck? Number 94, not 70s, 60s. There's 1965 also, very good condition too. Pretty good, pretty good. Not bad. Killer Croc, how funny. Oh wait, that's a character, huh? All right, I see some old stuff back here too. Where monsters dwell. Dang, that's so cool, 25 cents. All right, that's another box. Let's hope there's no roaches in here. I don't see any. Avengers next. This is uh, loose conks here, no bags, but could be they're older, but right behind it here, I don't know if you guys can see. Look at this. There's a jersey swatches and signature. That's a cool, these are cool uh, cards. I don't know if they're valuable, but they sure are cool. There's another signed one, Quadri Henderson. Another sign one, Michael Turner. Yeah, let's get some thicker stuff in here. Gosh, this stuff is just, it's every which way, just no organization at all. It really bugs me. My OCD is so on overload right now. Tavon Austin right there. Trying not to bend anything. I got these stupid gloves. Ooh, look at this. Ed Matthews. Very old card there. I'm not even sure what date that is. I see in 1955, so it's after that. To Ed Matthews, that could be a very good card right there. Okay. Man, more good stuff here. The hits keep coming. Okay. Silver Surfer, $1.25. Sad Sack, Hard Corpse, this is nothing. Porky Pig, there's a very old one. I think that's a 10 cent book right there. Rough condition though. Mickey Mouse, 95 cents newer. Southern Bastards. I've never seen so many comics that are 
top in. Ooh, Alien Legion. There's number one. There's a bunch of loose cards here. Football. That one's football. Probably just sell that whole box in our live auction. Not even go through it. Same with this. Oh, that's a G.I. Joe right there. <laughs> G.I. Joe cards, 1991. That's a little bit, I think, cooler than sports. But I don't know. What do I know? Here's the sports. Okay, here's a thick one right here. Ichiro. Nice. Okay. If you guys are like, why are you selling those locker nuts? I want to... I want to be able to bid on that whole box of cards. The box like this we probably wouldn't sell because see how many are sleeved up. I think that probably means that he's identified these as nicer, more expensive ones, but not always. Not always, but we only have so much time, guys. I like buying lockers, but I don't like looking up individual cards for hours. So, uh, this is baseball stuff here. We're going to sell these in a live auction, and most likely, there's Aaron Judge right there, and that's... 1,403 out of 5,000 of those printed. Huh, interesting. We're gonna probably be selling most of these in our whatnot auctions, guys. If you don't know whatnot, I'll put a link in the video so you can uh, click on it. Sign up if you've never signed up. Go have some fun with us. We do them weekly, pretty much. It'll be a couple weeks we won't do it, but with schedule conflicts and such. But for the most part, we do them every week. And it's where we sell the best stuff that we pull out. Ooh, look at this one. That was, it had a $40 price tag on it. Brooke Robinson, is that his name? Brooke Robinson? That's another one from the 50s. I hope that's coming out on the camera. Huh, 40 bucks on that one. Yeah, we'll do uh, whatnot. Go sign up. Uh, the link below actually gets you $25 for free. You'll get a $25 spending credit for free from whatnot just to thank you for signing up. Oh, there's a PSA. Graded. Now that's a five, not super high. It's had a $50 price tag on it. Sid Gordon from 1953. I haven't found graded cards in forever. What the heck? That's a Mickey Mantle. <laughs> and on that side, it's a Michael Jordan. These could be some really good cards in here. Yeah, make sure you use our link when you sign up so you can get that spending credit. Black Moon. Origin issue. Some independent stuff. Pop by 15 center. Whoa, that's in good condition too. That's in really good condition. Ryan Stimpy, Supergirl, Supergirl, Ms. Marvel. Oh, oh, guys, there's Ms. Marvel number one. 30 cents in thick plastic is in the back. Okay, that's good. Remember, we found a couple really good books in these thick plastics. Okay, there's a couple more thick plastics. So, what's the deal with that? Supergirl number one, and Miss, another Miss, no, this Miss Marvel, but it's number 18. Wow. Okay. Hopefully those are all good books. Yeah, guys. So, uh, whatnot. It's a live streaming app made for really for phones and tablets, but you could do it on your computer too if that's what you prefer. I do suggest doing it on your phone because um, it's made for that. But it's made for live streaming auctions, and that's what we do there. We hold auctions. We'll be auctioning some of the best stuff that we find in these lockers. Like these comics, comics and cards, of course. Now these are backwards, dang it. Everything is backwards or upside down. That's empty. Popeye. That one's $3.99. That's newer. Not impressed with that. Yeah, we'll be selling a lot of comics and a lot of cards in the whatnot auctions we got coming up. There is Superman Family. That's a 50 cent book. It's pretty good. In the Superman Family, 50 cent book. Okay, that's another good box. And we've been finding a lot of comics and cards, not comics, but cards in the last few lockers. Like recently I've been on just a real tear and getting some good stuff. Justice League Europe. Stuff is not organized. Ecstatics. Richie Rich. I don't know what that is. J. Lee. Wait. Marker image number one. Jim Lee I saw in there. That's good. Okay, this one's open. Fortunately you had the... Uh, other box on top of it so these now got a nice bend to them and dang it look at this x-men number 14 what oh my goodness oh i thought that said nuts never mind Unis is <laughs> whoa what is this look at that a action comics 10 cent book superman dang that's cool oh supergirl there's something much more modern now it's a total mix everything is mixed up super villain team ups there's red school Oh man, look at that. Look at that cover. 
Wolverine and Sabretooth, that is dope. Ooh, this is a good one too. Rogue Storm, it says. Number 147, X-Men. Thor. Oh, jeez, guys, this is, this is great. Oh, gosh, I'm having so much fun. Oh, 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 dang it, I'm having fun. And I just went off camera in where I got a little bit more light and inspected for roaches. I didn't see anything. Okay. 2001, A Space Odyssey. That's number six. It's the 30 cent book. Simpsons number one. I thought so. I thought so. I think I found that book before and I think that's a decent book. It's number one. Supergirl, more Supergirls. This box is uh, a lot, has a lot of bagged and boarded, and so far all Supergirl. Maestrons has Supergirl. There's Action Comics number 476. It's 35 cent. I like finding the older stuff, obviously, and mostly Supergirl. Supergirl or Superman are both. Oh, good stuff. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, I got some stuff to pick up and clear out and get loaded and then get off we'll pick this up uh going through that stuff somewhere else okay <laughs> i didn't even mean, mean to spend so much time going through the comics but that was fun the cards too the good stuff all right guys i still have a little bit more to go through in this locker those boxes we pulled out we'll do that in the next episode plus we'll take a look at some of the best comics that came out but before we close this i just want to talk about this film banned in 46 countries so as it turns out that is a little bit of a stretch i don't think it was really banned in 46 countries but of course this is like the original YouTube clickbait right here because when you saw this sitting in the shelves of the video rental store, and I'm talking maybe Blockbuster, but most likely before Blockbuster because this was made in 1978, but it hit the shelves closer to like the early 80s. And I remember seeing it there and I remember thinking, what could that have? Like the morbid curiosity is what gets the better of us. This is pre-internet date. So I know as a teenager, like I was so curious and I did rent this, <laughs> I rented this back in the day i had to watch it i think i didn't rent it till i was a late teenager but um i did rent it i did watch it i don't remember much about it but i do remember that i wasn't that impressed i never wanted to watch like part two three four none of those other ones to come after i was not impressed um now i kind of know why because as i did a little research about 40 percent of this is fake so it's not even real and it's the most you know whatever controversial scenes uh would be like you know people dying it's all fake so they mixed real footage in like slaughterhouses and dog fighting and I, I mean there's a bunch of stuff they mix that in with some fake footage of like an execution or um a people that are eating monkey brains basically but this video had some historical significance i guess for cinema one is that um it was immensely successful and i think made the guy a lot of money it says writer is alan black and the director is conan la Calaire. and it's kind of funny those are both pseudo names the guy who made it is named john alan schwartz those are both him the writer and director and he chose that name for the director because he thought that means conan the killer conan la Calaire. la Calaire. So he said it just sounded cool. Uh, pretty funny. The guy made a lot of money off this. And um, now I am not endorsing this movie. I am not suggesting that you go out and rent it or buy it streaming or whatever. I don't even know if it's available. But anyways, I'm not endorsing it, guys. This is not for everybody. There are certainly scenes in here not meant for the squeamish. But it's just the fact that this was such a controversial movie at the time and remains controversial today. I think it was rated number 27 of the top most controversial films ever made. So it, you gotta give it some props for that. Also of significance, the scenes that were faked, you know, the ones they staged, the, the way they made it seem was what later became very popular and that is the found footage concept, right? Where like maybe someone found this footage and, and it wasn't intended to be part of a production like this, you know, and so it was like, that approach to filmmaking, of course, became very popular with the Blair Witch Project. That was probably the most popular up to that point and immensely successful. But this um, maybe was some of the original approach to that type of cinematography. And even if you could watch the squeamish parts, I can't even recommend it as being something good. I don't know if it's a good movie. I don't think it is very good, but I'm not going to say I'm a judge. But who is a judge or was a judge is the great movie critic Gene Siskel. <laughs> He called this, at the time, a piece of trash.
and also kind of significant um, at the time when they were featuring this on a news segment, they interviewed none other than Quentin Tarantino, who worked in a video rental store in Los Angeles at the time to ask him about this video uh, way before he was a director or writer. And he said that it was very popular because they never had it in the shelf. As soon as it was returned, it got rented out. They never had it in stock. So he said this was a very popular one. Steven Spielberg must have been inspired by this because he took that scene with the uh, eating monkey brains into his film, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, right? Great, great scene, super crazy. Uh, I guess that was inspired by this film as well, which was also fake, all right? So, but anyways, kind of neat find. I hadn't seen this in years, and um, come to find out, there is some value here. I guess this is Gorgon Video right here, Gorgon Video. I guess there's some earlier copies that were made by a different publisher, I forget the name. Those are much more valuable. This right here, looks like it's listed on Mercari for about 100 to 150 bucks. I can't find it on eBay because I think it is banned for sale on eBay. But it really was banned in some countries because of the obscene scenes. They called it obscene scenes, but it was mostly like there's a scene with dogfighting, there's a scene, there's a lot of scenes that's just like, a morgue and some autopsies and stuff like that uh in some countries they said no but in the u.s hey we let it pass i guess so i think they might be stricter today i don't really know but this was something in the 80s man an original clickbait and uh kind of a cool find definitely a locker that's first find in a locker faces of death uh who knew but anyways this locker has been super exciting and lots of very interesting stuff to come out a lot of valuable stuff and hopefully more stuff coming out in the next video until then good luck to you god bless you we'll see you next time here on locking it all right check this out guys got the tape and look at this i didn't have a vhs player and luckily this one from the unit uh works works great so let's pop it in and, and uh, take a look see if this tape works <laughs>